Speaking of you, speaking of them, and I'm speaking of you. Whole lot of work that we all need to do. Time that we all come through and make moves. No more days of doing nothing, no more watching from the side. There's a war between good and evil. It's time that you decide. When they got you in that crowd, do you bow or do you rise? Are you one of those who resists or who complies? No more time here for denial. No more swallowing their lies. No more fueling this monstrosity that preys on our demise. It's time we take this outside and open up our eyes. Identify the strings and cut the ties I'm out here every day Going hard cause it's all I know Ghost Rider, ask about me Been around for a minute Still letting them know that I go hard I'm in peace We're gonna wipe them out All of them To the very last man <laughs> We're sorry Ghost Rider 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 I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. We left off was um, demons, basically. The devils, the ex-angels, the things they tell you aren't real, right? There are reasons they want to do this to you, but my explanation of their reasons is less important than your understanding of the way out. To understand a way out, we have no choice but to understand where we are now. Let me introduce you to the spiritual ghetto, the dark end of Eternity Street. This is simply the world that you and I were born into. The testing ground, perhaps the place the programmer sorts out the parts that he would like to keep most. You see, it was at our conception that we made the choice that our Maker has tried to undo with incredible care, patience, and self-sacrifice. It was the first of our kind that invited in the virus that is this present darkness, turning our cradle into this quarantine. There are two prominent mechanisms controlling most all of mankind, like efficient programs to keep us running in meaningless little circles, never even making it beyond our own skin. You can tell which program has the person next to you bound by simply listening to which story they have to tell. One, a very prideful story of what self-perceived wonders they have done, even if self such self-proclaimed wonders are crimes committed against the world around. These are tales of self-gratification, greed, self-will, self-importance, and the desperate ego-driven need to get ahead, even at the expense of others. People whose every other word is me, I, or mine. They're the gluttons, the great garbage collectors of life, collecting everything they can as fast as they can and clutching onto it with tightened fists and a grand fear to ever lose a single thing. They are exact opposites of the Christ mentality. They are violators of one of the single most important laws that governs the very fabric of the universe itself, whether you believe in God or do not. They do not understand the simplest of simple rules that you must give to receive and that the purpose of getting is that you may have something to give away. They are exactly like I have been, inlets without an outlet, a contradiction to the very flow of life itself. They scramble desperately to amass anything that is within arm's reach, building fortresses around themselves as barriers of tight protection from the outside world, only to find that the great enemy for which they feared all the while was within. Then there's personality type 2. It is the focuser on the problems, the troubles, the rocky path, the fanged animals, and the perils that always lie on the road ahead. These are the ones who bow in the temple of this present darkness, their own self-pity. They moan and groan, scream, whine, and beg. In their world, everything is always falling apart. It is this crisis followed by the next, like sheep crying for the wolves to find them. Are those the governing traits of us all, I have thought to myself, the glutton to the groaner, and all the subtle levels of insecurity that lie in between? And when it boils right down to it, both these are actually just outward expressions of mankind's single most prevalent driving force, fear. In the grandness of all the stars, the solar systems, the worlds within worlds, the great beyond, and all that which this feeble human mind would shudder to understand, 
We are such a speck. A tiny, tiny speck. We, and when I say we, I really mean I, have fancied ourselves as little kings, self-important, self-proclaimed gods to which all should bow to recognize our trite conquests, problems, and achievements. It's like a drop of water telling the ocean how important it is. Perhaps a grand statement to the thoughts of David as he wrote to God, Who is man that you are mindful of him? Which brings us full circle to the great question of the way out. And which way we go with our bicycle on the hill? Do we allow ourselves to be consumed by the natural state of this flesh? Do we accept the fear and grip it tight as we plummet to the deepest regions of abyss? Or do we go against the mechanics of this place? This great big finely crafted Swiss watch with all its delicate gears working in harmony until both hands hit at zero, the moment when all illusion stops. Perhaps that is the moment that we find ourselves absent from the flesh and present with the spirit. The moment I have come to understand that our ability to that thing called choice is gone. The moment that this all-consuming thing we have called the now becomes past and the infinite and unimaginable becomes present. So, what is the choice? But, uh, authentic factual and you can even see the shit in the video and uh if you don't know who trey smith is i highly suggest you get over to his page give yourself an iq boost so and notice this beam of light looking thing let's just get to the that's coming it down it w now Okay, here's the actual video. Now. Nice, the footage, and we found... Well, I'll show the actual video after, because I don't think he does. Unusual things he don't show, like, the I whole thing. To share with you. And that's really good but look at, look at, look at. Do you see this fucking thing right here? You see the outline? Oh, wow, so you can see the arm. You can see the arm. I'm going to get a better angle. You can see the arm coming down and holding the girl. He's holding the girl's arms like this. Okay, his fucking thing's like what? 50, 60 feet tall? A pinch further. Now, this is a stabilization of the clip, so you can see the little girl arms. up there in the air. It's like somebody's around. like, now, you know, holding them. And mom doesn't seem too concerned that she's floating up in the air. The sisters take off <laughs> and vanish into the forest. But if there were a harness or wires, the little girl lowers down. The wires up here, yeah. There's a lot more crazy What I'd like here. to first do is simply play the tape so you can look at it and its elements. Now, notice how the dog is trying to get the dog's attention. Now, the dog runs that way. Notice the little girl no, is not right, that direction. Another one. Right there in the middle of the screen. Where the dog just ran. I gotta look at my computer now, screen because it's got a different back. resolution than my computer. The dog is looking at something there and then it gets scared off and runs that way. Okay? Yep. So this you saw is that the point demon where he notices he like, our little girl and there she is. And then he went that way and saw another one and he was like. Here's the mother. He doesn't see the man with the camera yet. That's actually just part of the shrubbage because it moves independently so the little girl can be moving around it and plus you see that the little girl is actually in front of it so how she would be connected to it without the jacket being connected to it and also the way the jacket moves down here okay now I want you to watch right in here okay, you can see I want you to watch it. right here right on the screen as I scrub back and forth you can see him walking back and forth you can watch see his right legs. There. Look, at, look at the legs on it as it walks away. Look on the legs. The trees are independent from the camera moving. So you're getting different angles on the trees. But this little thing here that just walked to the side that appears to have legs on it. Middle of the night, and like I told you, you've got to relook at what's in this clip. Millions of Russians have watched this thing, along with people from countries. Boom. Oh. Like that, you even see it knock the uh, knock the little hoodie on her. And then I got my my guy down here taking off. So coming back there one more time. Here she goes. Boom. Look, there's Smack. there's a big ass. I mean, I see it clear as fucking day on my screen. You could see it, and he's talking about it. He's talking about. It. He's fucking pointing right to it. Except uh, we got a different interpretation of what he's doing. 
I'm clearly seeing his hands coming down like this, and, and he's got her hands. He's holding her there. And the fucking thing's like, it's up here. It's like, it's bigger than the fucking screen. Through the head. Oh man, this shit gave me the willy. My guy down here is starting off that direction. And she is, uh, she's up in the air. Look at the way she's floating. She's floating around. I'm going to shrub you through the cliff. dog didn't stick around. So he there out. is the little barrel. And she is floating around in the air. Move the camera up slightly so you can see above her. Something. And then he's going to... This is crazy. That's its plump little rear end right there. Now let's go back to our pooch, Tarzan. That went uh, berserk in the imagery. So here's a dog here, looking, he's dead staring something that way. Boom, he goes that direction. We're going to stop him right there in just a second, right where he stops and looks at something. And then he's going to change his mind and go that way real quick. Now let's see what he was looking at. Okay. So here's our dog, and here's where he I didn't stopped. spot this one out too good like until you to look he drew it out. Right here between my fingers. Those look like two eyes to you, and a nose, and a mouth. It's a cat. Right there, looking down at the dog. Now, Jesus when I Christ. enhance the color, and here's our dog right here, just about where he's going to stop, look this way, then look that way, and take off this direction. Let me ask you this, right in front of that dog where he's running, these look like the two eyes of a large cat right here, particularly wow. when the color is enhanced. By the way, I would encourage you to look at the original footage and go frame by frame so you can actually see this thing here turn yep look oh man the pooch. that is creepy it takes shit. off that way so if you outline around it this thing here sort of comes out as if it were a head it's a strange artifact in the footage no doubt but more than that looking right in its forehead does that look like a face inside yep. of the forehead coming out right footage. there and by the way i, I would ask you to stop this flip at, at any point Go through the footage yourself. It's like playing Where's Waldo with these unusual anomalies that look very much like human faces and demons and other things that are right inside, embedded in the footage itself. They seem to look this way and that. So here is another look face. At another that face. Shit. They're fucking You'll find all another over face the place. inside of that. Along with this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Now, now watch this. So here's our, uh, here's our unusual little screen. You can light. clearly uh, see that shit uh, now. Look, like, see his head. Beams, beams of light here. This is kind of a fun one. Okay, you can see, see, clearly see, see the here. arm coming down. Now, these little frames have been... And grabbing her arm. One by one. Here go, let's look at the next one. Uh-oh, there he insane. is there again. There's my head now. Now I want you to. I'm going to zoom in on this. Don't tell me, fucking tell me. Tell me. See a hand that does that shit going on. Right there. And there ain't no God. Everything you hear, you should take seriously. Because I'm about to tell you something. Now, now I am correct <laughs> with that apparition. I'm about to tell you something. I'll move the Click this way. And it's not there. How fucking big that is. This clip. There's the same ear, angle. Your eyeball. It's right here. Eyeball. And then mouth. several clips later. Oh my god. There he is right there. Creepy. Looking at you. You can either view this as the two little eyes, or you can view this as the little head looking this direction where you got no the mouth soul. and the nose. Little eye right there. No soul. A couple of clips later, the no little emotion. girl has come down to the mother's arms and they're about to run off. Our apparition. That's got to be one of the most incredible dissipated. videos like that I've ever so seen. Take a look inside this circle. Here, but then again, if you didn't have him doing it, nobody probably would have known. One near the mouth. This thing was coming this direction. It dissipates. 
I've got an angry book. That's indeed what it is. That's face. Just like with any of my stuff, I lay wow. it in your hands to... It's like, bitch, you interrupted time. Folks, I'm telling you, if you want to have your mind completely blown, go to YouTube. I'll, show you, I'll fucking do it for you right now. Inside. D R E Y S M I T H. I would highly suggest. Mmm. Definitely the Noah one. That's absolutely incredible. But I think this one is better. This Nephilim one.